Do you ever find yourself screaming things like, where the f is my wallet, keys, phone, planner? Then you are gonna love today's episode. So hot. Welcome to Laugh Cry DIY, the show where I can't find anything in my house ever. Like my AirPods, my planner, my meds. Because these objects are completely boring and blend inable items. Do you even see? Am I even holding an AirPod case right now? Searching for these things wastes my powerful brain energy when I could be doing more important stuff like learning Beyonce's Coachella choreography, which I swear to God I will one day. So today I am going to make over some of the most common objects that I can't find in my house. Do you have trouble regulating your emotions? Are you part of a multi-level marketing wellness scam related to vitamins? Then you probably need a pill case. This is my case for all of my vitamins. Mom's laughing. What do you think I call this channel Laugh Cry DIY? I often have challenges locating my vitamins and it is depressing and annoying to have to take any sort of medication each day, but you know what can make it better? Rhinestones! I decided I'm gonna rhinestone the top of my pill case because I just want to. All right, these are stickers. Is any of this in frame? Okay, okay, see, it's getting, that's getting cute, okay? No one can deny that. I know my haters want me to, but I will never, ever apologize for how freaking cute this is. Oh wait, don't get a reveal, okay. I just went to look for rhinestones in my mom's house to see if there were any cool ones that were like better than these pink ones that I could maybe do the days of the week on, and I did not find them. What I did find is something even more magical, even more amazing. Back in high school, I got these little rhinestone stars and I put tiny pieces of Velcro on the back. I have to show you. Okay, I'm dying. I'm absolutely dying. Are you dying? And look what I found them in. A 1999 Lip Smackers container. I don't think I've ever been happier. So I'm just gonna simply paint on the days of the week here. Also, this is very helpful because sometimes these have the days of the week as like starts on Sunday, ends on Saturday. But for me, I like to start my week on Monday so you can actually put the week that you want to be on there. I have a planner and it is very thick and everyone thinks it's a Bible. So I wanna put a bold pattern on it so that I can visually see it in an instant wherever it is hiding in the room. And I'm gonna do that by Mod Podging fabric onto it the way we did in my DIY dollar store table, which if you haven't seen it, is linked above. So I have three options here. Turquoise, palm leaf print, yellow leopard. I think I'm gonna go black and white. I can't believe it. By the way, this isn't just me wanting to add patterns to things, it's actually science. This is why my car is red, my cat is orange, because it makes it easier for me to find. Bye. By the way, this pattern I bought almost 10 years ago. I actually bought sheets from some cheap store. They are like $10 and the sheets were horribly uncomfortable, but they had a cute pattern. And now all these years later, it finally pays off. All right. So simple, guess what we're doing? Putting the Mod Podge, painting it straight on. Here we go. This isn't like sticking on the way I thought it would. I've literally done this with other things before. This cover is so porous. I hope you don't think I like cultivate moments of hell for viewers just to shock my audience. Forget the Mod Podge, forget everything you thought you knew about me. We're gonna try a spray adhesive. Literally every type of glue except for the one I need, of course. So now I'm gonna have to do this separately, probably on a different day, and then the reveal shot's not gonna be consistent, and then it's like, why am I gonna have this channel? Who is this even for? Why don't you just buy the planner you want? But it's like, why don't they make more planners that are 500 pages long? I don't know who or what caused this, but it was probably global warming, so 
great. Alrighty, we're back and we are going to add the spray adhesive to my planner. This is Elmer's Multi-Purpose Spray Adhesive. Great news, planner is dry. But I just realized a new problem we have now that it's all one pattern. I mean, has this ever happened to you? Which side is the front? There's no way to tell. And now I've wasted microseconds of my life. An easy fix, put something on the cover. And guess what? This cover is fabric. And guess what I have? Fabric markers. Somebody had to come inside because she had bad behavior. Somebody has been bullying other cats in the complex. Move the buns, dude. We are gonna tackle the AirPod case. I do want these to be some sort of bright, bold pattern so that I can actually see them lying around the house wherever they are. Now, I have seen a lot of tutorials out there from a lot of very cool youth who dip their AirPods in Plasti Dip and then do crazy graffiti tagging. I think that's so cool. I'm not gonna do that. Some people use acrylic paint and then they cover it with Mod Podge. You know I'm a Mod Podge ho, so that sounded like a great option. Now yes, I know that all you Apple freak leaks are probably like, don't ever do anything to your product. This is not your channel. Step one, I'm going to lightly sand the case with a very fine sandpaper. This is 600 grit. I bet this is some sort of porn keyword, like destroying Apple. And look what I found. You guys know I love rainbows. If you haven't seen my recreation of the rainbow tank top that Mariah Carey wore on her album, Rainbow, check the link right here. Let's just do some beautiful striping. Looks great, guys. Let's get groovy with it. How do we feel about this? Love, hate? Or is this bad? Oh, guys. I didn't go to art school, sue me. Look, at the end of the day, I don't need it to be perfect. I just need it to be its authentic self. Okay, I can live with this. It's very like desert vibes. This is not that exciting. It's called Mod Podge, it's called glue. We're just doing it. Guess what? I hated my AirPods, so I am redoing those entirely, and here we go. Fun fact, you would think that that simple acrylic paint and Mod Podge peeled off very quickly and easily, and it didn't. I actually had to sand it all off. And we're gonna start by spray painting it a new color, and uh, I did tape off all of the important parts so that we don't mess it up. All right, so we have our beautiful iPod case that is totally Cute. This looks very Tiffany blue. Oh. Fun fact, Tiffany blue is a secret color that only the Pantone company knows about. So my idea for this is to actually go back over with acrylic paint and we're gonna do a fun kind of 60s inspired rainbow design, which means we need to mix paints. So I was inspired by this rainbow art I saw on Pinterest. It's a 60s style. So I'm just gonna kind of do my version of it. No. Okay, I've actually like remixed these paints, lightened them, changed the shades of a bunch of stuff. And I'm just gonna keep adding layers to this and I'm not gonna show you until your final reveal. Oh, and I'm topping with acrylic sealer. Let's just go ahead and kick to our final reveal. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I hope you're inspired to turn something in your house from drab to fab. I will never say that again. And don't forget to like and subscribe and never forget the 2000s.